Here's what happens when you finish water quality. Or I should say the water quality quest assignment. All right, so I'm going to move down here to water quality, the research notes. And you followed all these steps, and you're at step number four. Um, you've learned about pH, dissolved oxygen, temperature, turbidity, and flow rate. Uh, you've either watched the videos or read the information yourself. You've got a choice there. And you got your graphs over here. Or is it this one? Nope, yep, it's this one. You got your graphs made. So if I click on this, I should have a graph for dissolved oxygen, pH, turbidity, flow rate, and temperature. All right, so there's my graphs that I went here and downloaded as a PNG. So I've got them all downloaded. And I've got my research notes. And this part, just write down what you read or what you heard me say. Uh, these questions are to keep you organized so you learn what your parameter means. And you got to figure out what the data means. In order to analyze these graphs, you kind of got to know what those numbers mean. Are they good? Uh, is that what our fish need to survive? Is that what the benthic macroinvertebrates need to survive? Because we want them to survive and thrive, to have a healthy habitat and a balanced ecosystem. So once you're done with all that, let's review how to turn stuff in. You're going to click Turn In. Boom, and you'll have both of them. See, that's turn in because it has documents there. If it didn't have documents, you'd just be able to mark as done. And then you come back here, and if you go to task, remember, there's nothing there. You got to click and then bring it up again. You got to close it, bring it back up, and there's your task complete. Once you've got this task complete, boom, you open up the next assignment. And that's your final project post. Uh, you, you've seen the pattern here. You learn, you take notes so you can really memorize and understand, and then you write about it. You show what you've learned and you share with the world, and you're doing your bit. You might have an ace dot that would be to pick up plastic or reduce plastic or to build a pollinator garden, but when you're writing these blogs and, and I'm sharing them and, and they're out there, that's another dot. That's another thing you're doing to help make the world a better place. Uh, so this picture is from last year. This is what it looks like when sixth graders go down to the creek. Uh, and you're going to write your final blog. This is the final blog for uh, everything you've been learning about fish trapping and what types of fish go through our creek, uh, climate change, water pollution, water quality, and the data. And your conclusion is going to be a claim evidence reasoning. So you're going to make a claim about how Chimicum Creek is doing. And it should be based on the data, because when you share your evidence, that's going to be your graphs. Uh, so then the reasoning is going to be, how does the data on those graphs, plus the fish that we counted going through there, how does that uh, support your claim? If your claim is Chimicum Creek is healthy and can support fish. You'll have a bibliography just like always. Um, but here's what's exciting. In order to make your blog post uh, more than just words, I've got links here to photo albums with pictures that can help make your blog post uh, show as well as tell. So these are the probes that you saw in the video me using. These are maps so that people who um, read your blog can tell where in the world is this place called Chimicum. If you talk about salmon, you can include those pictures. And you've got pictures of Chimicum Creek, a map of our campus. Uh, we've got the, these are really cool because these are the 3D pictures, or I should say the 360 degrees. So don't just look at my face. Click and look around. Isn't that cool? I love those. Uh, 
and then you've got regular pictures of the creek with those the grass growing right in the middle there it's never been that big at least not any time I can remember uh, so you've got that album you've got your fish trapping photos so you I mean this is the one thing you got to do uh, so you can include pictures of your classmates so you can show off how you participated in this year's data collection um, fish counts now this one's really cool because we've been trapping fish for what since 2014 2015 and you can see how the numbers have changed um, throughout all the years there's that one that was last year's and this year's so stickleback huh? the one we caught the most of this year but we did have some trout no coho this year last year no coho no rainbow trout and this year we caught one um, but in 2017-18 we had six coho that year where are the coho could this be a problem not enough data to tell but at least we can uh, we have the data here that you can share on your blog and say this could be a problem we're finding, but we need more data. Uh, you got the video you've already seen in case you want to put that on your blog. Uh, this one is from last year. Uh, I took infrared photos, uh, which are really cool uh, to see everybody um, through an infrared camera. And, and you can just see how cool the water is compared to where the sun is hitting. Um, and of course body temperature but it was just interesting to see the vegetation showing up as as having some heat it's not coming from the plants it's coming from the Sun as the uh, light energy is absorbed by the plants it converts into heat energy just like on our skin so this one I just put in there for fun so you could uh, enjoy that and um, this one's cool because it gives you the logo which please put the logo on your blog because um, we are we use that Ooh, I'm gonna update this one I've got some old graphs on here I'm gonna put some new graphs so you can have that uh, as well um, but of course use you know the fish count graphs you're gonna to want to use the ones I give you because I've got those numbers but the water quality data use yours because that's better it's your own and then I just put these other videos here uh, ones that you've seen and um, ones from last year so you can see sixth graders in action uh, collecting water quality data at the creek and if you make it all the way to the bottom there's a bonus there for you so yeah once you get your blog post done paste the link on there and you get some good XP if you do it before the deadline so that's it uh, for this good luck I can't wait to read your blog post and submit it to the Ocean Guardian School project because this is what they need to see what did you learn while quarantined and still maintaining our Ocean Guardian School project.